the Dubai Autodrome is hosting round five of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East. This race weekend could prove decisive for the Drivers' Championship as Al Nabuda's Clement Schmidt leads the table by 39 points ahead of Zayed Ashkanani of Buzaid GT. Schmidt has won six of the season's eight races and aims to secure the title on his team's home track. The Austrian delivers the fastest lap in the qualifying for race one. The qualifying was great, but I think it will be a tough race. Followed by Abdulaziz Al Faisal of the Saudi Falcons and young racing talent Charlie Friens from the Netherlands. I think we have a winning car, so let's see in the race. start, Clement Schmidt holds on to the lead, but Abdelaziz Al Faisal is close behind him, waiting for a chance to overtake. As the cars are side by side, a collision forces Schmidt off the track and he loses several positions. It was a pretty dramatic in the beginning uh, with the incident with Clement. All of a sudden, Syed Al Mahiri of the Skydive Dubai Falcons, who started from fifth position, finds himself on top of the field. Keep the advantage to overtake them, and I did. Schmidt pushes hard to keep up with the leading group. Afterwards, I tried to catch up again, and I made a mistake. Schmidt crashes into Bandar al who then flips several times. Unfortunately, I hit Bandar at the rear of his car and he flipped. Bandar al leaves the car unharmed, but the race has to be suspended. Cars are, from a safe point of view, are extremely good, so I wasn't really afraid or anything. Alhamdulillah, everything is fine. Schmidt also has to withdraw from the race due to the damage on his car. A rolling restart behind the safety car sees UAE's Saeed Al Mahiri keeping his lead and Abdulaziz Al Faisal in second. Charlie Friens and Saudi's Fahad Al Ghosaibi deliver a tough battle for position three. You know, from the start, I was in P4 behind Charlie, just trying to put pressure, put pressure, and his pace was really, really good. Fahad was very close behind me, so I needed to keep him behind. In midfield, Zayed Ashkenani and UAE's Hasha Al Maktoum go head to head for the top six places. Started eighth, reached fifth. I was fighting between fifth and sixth, and I end up finishing sixth. Kareem Al Azari of Al Nabuda Racing gains two positions during the race to finish on seventh. Yeah, I was happy that I, I was gaining positions during the race, and from my side, I think that's very good. Claiming important points for the team title. Abdulaziz Al Faisal stays close behind Syed Al Mahiri. He drove amazingly well, and uh, no mistakes except for the last two laps. I kept uh, the whole race, I was up the last lap, I did a mistake, and then I lost the lead. Two corners after that, he tried to overtake me, and uh, the braking as well, he overshot, uh, and then I just went on the inside and, and overtook him. Making his move in the last round to overtake the Emirati and celebrating his first win of the season. I would like to congratulate uh, Abdul Aziz. Fahad Al Ghosaibi manages to overtake Charlie Freens also in the last round. I had a bit of a better exit, I got the chance to dive in and uh, made it to the finish. To claim his third podium finish in a row. It's amazing, I don't know what to say, it's really good. Congrats to him. Al Mihairi secures second place, winning valuable team title points for the Skydive Dubai Falcons.
Clement Schmidt's lead in the driver's standing is narrowed to 19 points, with Abdulaziz Al Faisal behind him and Zayed Ashkanani on third. Al Nabuda Racing maintains the lead in the team category, followed by the Saudi Falcons and the Skydive Dubai Falcons.